Greetings everyone, welcome to Occasional Adventure with me, your hostess, Shannon, and I am coming to you today from the gorgeous, beautiful Spring Mountain Ranch area, um, a Red Rock Canyon area. See these gorgeous mountains with these amazing red rocks? Yeah, so we are um, technically just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, but still this is, you know, the Vegas area. And Spring Mountain Ranch State Park is an amazing state park, but it was privately owned way back. It's got a really interesting and unique history. Some very notable people, notable people have owned this fine establishment. And actually, I'm way off of the main uh, property. I'm up in the trail area with some of the equipment. Um, this is the main water reservoir over here that irrigates the ranch. It is still a working ranch with um, several heads of cattle. And of course, you know how these are all spring fed. So you know how that goes with the spring fed. Um, you know, the water comes from the rain and then it's up in the mountains and then it's in the rocks and it comes down, down, down. And this is obviously some sort of a very old, but possibly it's close to restoration, but I guess it used to be a working water something. And then we can see over here, um, you know, it's just kind of bubbling out of nowhere, streaming down, and then it streams over here to the main reservoir, and then it's irrigated down to another area and, and what have you. So um, when you go inside the visitor center, they have a little room where they're showing a movie. It's about a 10-minute film, and it gives an entire history of this entire piece of land, who acquired it, when and how and why, and what it's been used for since the beginning, all the various owners. Um, there have been about, uh, I think, five, six... Five, let's say about six different families that have owned it. Um, one of the more, actually two of the more notable people who have owned this piece of property were Vera Krupp, who was a famous German actress, moved to the U.S. Um, and there was a very, very special piece of jewelry that she was the owner of. She was robbed. It was stolen from her. Uh, the police found it, gave it back to her. And then Elizabeth's Elizabeth Taylor's, one of her husbands, Richard Burton, bought her this fabulous piece of jewelry. She wore it until she died. And then when she passed, her estate sold it for, I think it was $8.8 .8 million. Um, it now resides at some theme park in the country of South Korea. I don't understand why such of an iconic um, and fabulous piece of jewelry that was owned by such notable people and that has a history all of its own is now owned by some amusement park in Korea. Why did nobody in the U.S. purchase this? I have no idea. There's plenty of people in the U.S. that have plenty of money that could have paid $8.8 .8 million at the auction or outbid this guy by, you know, half a million or something to get this um, amazing piece of jewelry. So what is this mysterious piece of jewelry? I will let you find out by doing your own research. Um, but anyway, so that piece of jewelry kind of has a, a part of history here at this ranch area at the main house back down below. Um, yeah, and Howard Hughes. I think we all know who he is. If you don't know who he is, shame on you. You need to do some research on American history and what have you. So Howard Hughes um, actually purchased the main building. It was stated for his wife because when he was living in a Las Vegas hotel, here's trivia. Do you know which Las Vegas hotel Howard Hughes lived in? It is no longer standing. Um, it was purchased by Steve Wynn and it was, um, eventually closed, imploded with a brand new, of course, more upscale, fancy, trendy Las Vegas hotel uh, built on that spot. So I will let you do some research on Howard Hughes and find out which hotel he actually lived in in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. But anyway, going back to that, um, it was said that he had purchased um, the, the ranch house for his wife because his wife didn't want to live in a Las Vegas hotel. Go figure. But it was said, too, that they don't have any record of him ever coming, even coming out here. He certainly didn't live out here. Um, and they said that mostly, they, the historians, said that mostly um, that this place was used for weekend retreats. Um, and he put in a bar in the house because the house didn't have a bar. It looks very um, 70s-ish. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, so that was the other notable person who owned this location or this establishment, this home, this ranch. There's all these amazing trails, trails that go all over the place. There are actually, I think, 50 some odd natural springs um, up in this area, six of which are on this property, this Spring Mountain um, State Park, Spring Mountain Ranch State Park property. So lots of cool stuff out here. Definitely a cool place to uh, come out for the day. And another neat thing you will also see, you've heard of ash trees, correct? Arizona ash. So out here, there's um, right next to the main house, 
there's a little um, walking trail. It's a 0 .08 mile walking trail established through um, just a basically an orchard of just trees. Several different types of native trees. You got mesquite trees and some other types of trees out there. And then there are these little placards that tell you about the trees. Some of them produce honey and all these really cool things. And um, there's the cat claw trees out there, which are really neat. So you can read the little placards and read up on these um, native trees that just grow out here, um, either you know basically in the lower 48 or just desert dwelling trees only. But the cool thing is um, there are these Arizona ash trees and the only other place that they're found, well, besides Arizona, but they don't, um, they aren't found any place else in the state of Nevada except for here. And they are an orchard of naturally growing Arizona ash trees. So I think that's pretty cool. And that's another notable thing about this state park. And um, some of them are smaller and some of them are very, very large. And so I took some great photos of those as well, which you'll see in the slideshow to follow. So enjoy. letting me pet it. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Hi there. Scratch? Oh. I get mad. I don't know. I don't know. Scratch? Scratch? Oh, that feel good right there? Oh yeah. That feels good. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hi. Hi. I love you, cow. Scratch? You want to scratch? Right there, is that a good spot? No? Oh, sorry. This is fun times with cows. Oh, well, let me kiss you, watch. Kiss the cow. <laughs> it's not every day that you kiss a cow. I am giving some love to the black. I'm like, ooh, look at those teeth. I didn't see teeth like that on the other one. Hi. Oh, this one's very itchy. This one's been scratching yeah. itself. Let's see if I can get a kiss from this one. Oh, I can. Hi. Can you kiss the cow? Ooh. Can you kiss your cow? It's a good scratch, huh? Oh, it's a good scratch. Okay, I'm going to kiss the cow. Ready? 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 Oh, I made contact. I kissed the cow. <laughs> the cow got freaked out. The cow is not leaving me. Hi. The cow's like, what the? 
Okay. The cow was offended that I kissed it, so that does not help my self-esteem. Hi, cow. That doesn't look comfortable. Signing off now. Say bye from Spring Mountain State Ranch. Kiss the phone. Okay. What else we got? We got Bonus Burrow. Check this guy out. Hello. He's not in the fence. We seem to have two in the fence. And this guy's outside the fence. I don't know if he escaped or if he's just like... There's lots of wild burrow around here. Sorry. Lots of wild burrow around here because as we were hiking all these trails around here, there's nothing but burrow poop everywhere. Now, my first inclination, as we all know, is to run up and hug and kiss the animal. But I can't really run up and hug and kiss a burrow because burrows bite and they kick. And I don't want to get bit or kicked today. But we are going to go closer. Because... I didn't do anything. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh. Let's see what happens. Hello. They all seem to be very, very cool with each other. Hello, Mr. Burrow. He doesn't want me to get too close. I like to hop on and ride him. Oop. I'll back up so uh, Mr. Aimless Adventure over here can, can try to get his close up. Anyway, that's it. Bonus burrow footage. That's what we're calling it today. Bonus burrow footage. We'll take one last quick look. The sun's setting over there. Beautiful red rock. Buy some beautiful red rock. See you.